We're going to set up some new layouts today in order to be able to create some site analysis pages. So in our layouts on our navigator on the right hand side, project map, view map, layout book. So the third one across is our layout book. Now you may already have some of these layouts, you might not yet. We're going to create a few and we could set some up independently from our normal drawing set because that could maybe create some problems. So let's make a new subset, which is a folder. Let's call this one site report. And then into our site report, we'll create some new layouts. We'll call this location plan, create, detailed site plan, section one, section two. So we've created four layouts. We see that they've all got this, these funny lines on here. What's that based on? That's based on the master layout. If we go to the master layout, we can delete those lines. We don't want those. And we see that that automatically will remove those from our layouts. So these layouts are designed to be blank and to reflect the master that they're based on. At the moment, if I right click and go into the layout settings, we see that this is based on the master A1 landscape layout. So we can change this and instead of making it the A1, we can base it on the A3. So we can select all of them, right click, layout settings, and this time I'm going to change it to the A3 master layout. If you don't have to, we can change that next. And in this case, I want to change all of them to have a custom ID. I don't want them to have an ID number at the moment. So now we've got four pages here. We can create some more pages as well, but that will do for now. And we can see that it now has this title block down the bottom because when we go to the master layout, that is A3, we see that it has a title block there as well. Now when we go into our location plan, what do we want to see? We want to see our location plan. How are we going to create that location plan? Well, we could start by using our upper ground floor. Our upper ground floor shows us our house currently and shows us our boundary. It doesn't show us much else because we haven't drawn much else there. But we can use this, we just need to get its settings to be set up right. So what scale might we want this to be at? For a location plan, we might be using something like a 1 to 1000 scale. Now when we change to such a small scale, or such a big scale, depending on which way you want to think about it, we see that the text dramatically changes size, and the dimensions dramatically change size, and the reality is we do not want to see this text or these dimensions on this particular drawing. So we need to manage our layers, or in this case, our layer combinations. So to change our layer combinations, we want to go to Options, Element Attributes, Layers, and we want to create layer combinations here on this left-hand side for each type of drawing that we want to do. So we want to create a drawing for Plan, or we could even change this one to Report, location plan. And then we want to turn off any dim any uh, dimensions or text that we don't want to see. Now it's a little bit tricky if we don't know what layer they're on. We do have these layers called dim and generally speaking our dimensions will be on one of these layers. So we can turn off all of our dimensions. That's a good way to start. Press update otherwise it doesn't work if we don't press update. And that will hide all of those dimensions. When we go to this living we see this is on a layer called Text General 1 to 100. I don't really want to use that layer anyway, so I could change the text onto a different layer. I could just put it onto Dim 
general or dim building for now, and that will hide it as well. So now we have a drawing. We need to create a saved view of this drawing. So we can create another folder here called reports. So this is now the saved view for reports. Save current view will change this to custom and we can call this location plan. Now finally, dragging and dropping back from our view map into our layout, we can now see that the location plan is very small on this page, which is the intention. To say that, we want to maybe have a location plan that's small enough that we can see the context of the site. And in this case, the context of the site would be the escarpments and the ocean. Now we need to probably use some other information because we don't have enough information here. So we could either redraw all of the context or we could use maybe an aerial photograph. So we'll do that next. We'll import an aerial photograph from something like Google or from Map6 into our drawing to be able to represent it at its correct scale.